What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and in this episode we're going to be taking a look at Figma components and variants. How do you create one thing that has lots of versions, lots of variants, so you don't clog up that assets panel and give yourself a headache? Today, we're working smarter, not harder. Let's do it. On my blank canvas, I'm just gonna hit T for text and I'm gonna write the word button. I'm gonna take our text, I'm gonna hit Shift A and it's gonna add an auto layout. If you're not accustomed to auto layout, I did a whole nother video on it. It's really fantastic, but it's a great way to make responsive buttons really, really quickly. Any auto layout is also a frame and that means we can style that frame. So we're gonna take that frame, we're gonna fill it with a color. Why don't we change the color of our fill for our text? We can also add a border radius, maybe four, maybe six to this one. That looks perfect. And because it's an auto layout, we're gonna put everything in the center, kind of balanced there. That means if we type, boy, our button's gonna stretch and expand because it's hugging the content. That is auto layout 101, so let's keep going. We have our frame, let's name this frame button and we're gonna press command or control Option K. We've now created a master component that can be reused over and over. We can head over to the assets panel and drag an instance of this component out or just copy and duplicate a version from our master. You don't wanna delete the master, you wanna hold on to that and maybe store it somewhere else. But now we have all of these instances that we can use and as we change the instances, that's okay. Now that we've created our master component, we wanna create variants from that component. To do that, we're gonna select our master component. We're gonna head over into the inspector panel and we are gonna hit the plus on the variant section. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see that it's added, it's, it's put this interesting kind of dashed frame around our component. And inside of it, you can see we have our primary and we have our variant. So it took that slash and it converted it to a layer name. So why don't we create uh, an outlined version of our button. Um, so we have our primary here on top and our outline below. Now we can kind of place these any way we want. We can take our variant frame and kind of just stretch it out, resize it, organize it however you feel comfortable organizing it. So I'm gonna put this one over here. And then what we're gonna do is just change the styling to this. So on our primary, we can give a description and some documentation link if we want to. We don't need to do that right now for this one. We're just gonna name it outlined and we're going to come down and we are going to uh, remove the fill and let's add a stroke here using our blue color. Why don't we bump that up to a two pixel stroke and why don't we change the uh, text inside to also be that blue brand color. Okay, that works. That looks perfect. That's exactly how we want it. But maybe we also wanted a shadowed version. We're going to select which one we want to work off of, press the plus and we get another one added to the side. So why don't we come down here and add a little bit of an effect. Uh, we're gonna add a drop shadow to it and let's bring that drop shadow down a little bit. It's a little heavy for my taste and bring the blur up like this. We can change the color of the blur. Why don't we change it to the blue? But then again, we're gonna bring that opacity way down, something like 10 kind of percent. Now we have um, our different variant. Now it's not named, so let's rename our variant to shadow. Okay, and you can see it names it here as well. Um, okay, that's looking pretty good. Why don't we create another version um, and bring this down on a new line and why don't we shrink the size of it and then change the label size. Let's break it from the text style that we have and drop this down to, I don't know, maybe 14. So we're gonna make smaller buttons here. So now we have all of our small buttons here. You have your primary buttons. You can do oversized ones. You do ones with icons inside using something like auto layout. Um, but we have now some different variants. So now inside of our project, if you want to, look at that, it's still just that one button. The frame is named button. We can drag it out and say, which one do we want? Maybe we want the small field or the small outline. And maybe over here, I want this one to be the primary outline. And maybe over here, I want this one to be the primary shadow. It's all the same button component, just with tons of different variants. It's absolutely amazing. 
That's variants. Start using them as much as possible so that your assets panel is clean. You start to build a little bit of a pattern library or design system. Figma makes it super easy. Well, that's it. That's components, variants, and a little dash of auto layout inside of Figma. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that little bell notification icon so you know when another video like this one comes out. Hope you guys are having an amazing week. Hope you're designing amazing things. Hope you're making amazing things. And I hope you're working smarter, not harder. I'll see you in the next one.